In our recent documentary, FSRN brought you an in-depth look at an indigenous struggle to protect Rattlesnake Island. The struggle continues. On Saturday, some 200 indigenous people and their supporters marched to the home of John Nady, a millionaire who has just started building on the island, which is sacred to the Elam tribe in Lake County, California. FSRN's George Lavender reports. John Nady began building his vacation home on Rattlesnake Island at the end of November. Construction work can be heard from the Elam Indian Colony, just a few hundred feet away. Last week, Jim Brown, cultural leader of the Elam tribe, took a boat out on Clear Lake to observe what was taking place on their ancestral territory. It was really uh, disheartening because of the fact that, um, you know, the more we talk, the more structure comes up, I just see the total destruction of our island. And it's really hard, you know, looking at that. Just to see the structure go up in itself is the desecration. Standing there alone, blocking this natural beauty. Earlier this year, the Lake County Board of Supervisors voted 3-2 to two in a controversial decision to allow Nady to begin construction on the island, the cultural and political center of the Elam tribe, for at least the last 6,000 years. This is what we call our sacred cultural landscape. Um, we're right on the waters, the sacred waters of Clear Lake, looking over Mount Kanuktai with the oldest uh, recorded document village of our nation right off the shore of it, right below it, and, and right across the Elam land. So this is really the heart of our nation. And these waterways, as well as the lands here, have aboriginally have always been ours. And although we may not have a paper title to it, uh, we still uh, are caretakers of those areas. An emergency demonstration was organized over the weekend in Nady's home neighborhood to call for a stop to the construction work. After participants acknowledged the Ohlone people on whose land the demonstration took place, around 200 people marched into the exclusive neighborhood of Piedmont. Desecration, no way! From Lake County to the Bay! Desecration, no way! Police informed demonstrators that Nady was not home, but officers ringed his property when marchers arrived. Outside Nady's 45-room mansion, several speakers addressed the crowd. My question to him, what if we would go over to their cemeteries? to other people's cemeteries and build his house on top of it. What would this nation say to him? Wounded Knee Deer Campo is Miwok and a longtime advocate for sacred sites in the San Francisco Bay Area. The creator is going to handle John Nitty and his eyes will open up to just a man with a lot of cash. And you cannot pay your way to the spirit world. In their decision supporting Nady's new vacation home, the Board of Supervisors required a Native American monitor to be present during construction on the island. In Lake County, that should have been someone from the nearest tribe, in this case from the Elam community. Instead, a monitor was hired from a tribe without historic connection to the area. Morningstar Gali is Achimawi band Pitt River. She says that the struggle for the island is just one example of how indigenous sacred sites aren't respected. We're Native peoples, we're not, affect, we're not afforded those First Amendment rights um, for, you know, the protection of our sacred places. The fact that John Natty can build his vacation home directly on the ceremonial grounds of a 6,000-year-old, you know, um, ceremonial site, you know, is, is just really um, a protest violation and, and human rights abuse. John Nady declined to be interviewed. But in a letter to his local paper, he described the indigenous protesters as radicals who did not represent mainstream Native American views. Despite his wealth and power, Jim Brown says they'll continue their campaign. It's our homelands, and we're going to do what we can to protect the sacredness of it and our right to practice our uh, religion and our ceremonies on it. Elam tribal members and their supporters are mounting a legal challenge to the construction work, which they hope can be stopped so that thousands of years of their history and traditions can be protected for generations to come. George Lavender, FSRN, Lake County and Piedmont, California.